Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next part of our skill leveling guide. And today, what we are going to be covering is the driving skill, okay, the motorcycling skill and the driving skill, okay? So when we go over motorcycling, um, doesn't say anything there, but when we go over driving, it says driving is a skill that enables you to drive ground vehicles with four or more wheels, as well as those with tracks and hovercraft, okay? So apparently we've got something to look forward to, since a driving skill counts as a vehicle with four wheels or more, okay? And then those with tracks and a hovercraft. Tracks sounds like a tank. Hovercraft just sounds freaking awesome. It's, you know, like a thing that you can drive on land and on water. Then it says, raised by driving for an extended amount of time, influences vehicle stalling frequency, maximum attainable speed, acceleration, and steering. Okay, so it has very, very big effects. So, let's see if that's right. Okay, so first of all, these are all the vehicles that you get in the game. So you get the tractor, the SUV, which you can get a police vehicle of, the quad, the pickup truck, the mountain bike, the dirt bike, and of course its Hellrider counterpart. The and of course with the pickup truck you get a Hellrider as well, which looks cool. Then you get the cruiser and you get the normal little bike. Okay. So if we go to the first little bike with no driving skill and no motorcycling skill, okay, it's a city bike, so we get on, on it. And unfortunately, it doesn't really tell you the speed, okay? But now we can see we can drive it. And our character is basically just going to stand upright, okay? Driving it. And then we can mouse scroll wheel forward once, like jogging. So if we mouse scroll wheel forward once, we can see we're leaning a bit forward, okay? And then if we mouse scroll wheel forward again, like when we want to run, okay? Then we reach maximum speed. Okay, so he's leaning forward, and if you press H on a vehicle, you can use, you know, the, the bell or the hooter or the siren, whatever the vehicle has on it. Okay, now we can scroll forward again, or backwards again, and now it's relaxing, and of course, as we're driving, as we mouse scroll wheel forward, he is um, using stamina. Okay, because he has to pedal the bike. So he is using stamina. Okay, so did we level up anything while driving the bicycle? No driving, no motorcycling. Okay, so the, the bicycle is not connected to your driving skill or your motorcycling skill. Okay, then we've got, got the, motor, uh, the mountain bike over here. Mountain bike, okay. Exactly the same thing. This one's front, the wheels wobble a little bit, but again, drives, it's it's definitely faster, you know, with normal speed, and then you just mouse scroll wheel forward to reach maximum speed, and as you see, he's going to lean forward, and this one drives quite, quite quickly, okay? Definitely better than the normal city bike. The mountain bike is definitely... It's definitely a fun vehicle to drive. I have driven it, you know, through the forest and it feels really, really cool. Okay. Okay. So we get off the mo mountain bike, no driving skill, no motorcycling skill. Okay. Now we go to the dirt bike. The dirt bike, the great thing about bikes is you don't need a battery to start a bike because you can kickstart it, okay? So all you're focusing on with the bike is its health and its fuel. You can kickstart it and as you drive it, it will charge the battery. Now, even with no skill, okay, we can still start it up. Of course, it's gonna stall a heck of a lot. If you're driving up a hill, it's gonna stall even more. So if you're driving down a hill, it's gonna stall less. If you're driving level, you know, it's gonna, stall average and if you're driving uphill it's going to stall a lot more so just take that into consideration okay so here we're driving at 41 kilometers per hour 
That's the maximum speed that we can reach while driving a dirt bike, okay? With no skill. Of course, I'm going to show you advanced motorcycling and advanced driving as well, okay? So let's just get the dirt bike back. Okay, so what did we level up there? We leveled up our motorcycling skill, okay? Which is basically a two-wheel vehicle. So this leveled up our motorcycling skill. And it's basically the further you drive, the better, guys. So when you're leveling up your motorcycling skill with a motorcycle, or you level up your driving with a four-wheel vehicle or quad, then it's the distance that you drive. And the distance, the best way to get the maximum amount of distance is to stick to the roads. So you don't drive into rocks or slow down or go uphill and downhills. You stick to the roads. And then the best advice I can give you is if you come from here and you go all the way down to here, it's a really good route. Down through here is a very nice route. You're not really going to run into any players. Here might be a little bit dangerous, okay? And then you can go here, okay, and follow here. Um, you can go all around the map, but basically you want the road to be straight, as straight as possible. So this is a very, very nice road. Okay. The problem is you can't, you don't really want to drive up and down or like uh, I saw one video where a person figured out a route, you know, that, that was the best for leveling up your driving, but you don't really want to drive in a circle either because when you're driving past the point of interest, okay. And somebody sees you and he sees the same vehicle again, and he sees the same vehicle again, then he's going to camp somewhere because he wants your vehicle and shoot you, okay, as you're driving your vehicle. So when you're driving your vehicle and you're leveling up your skills, try to just drive constantly, but stick to the road and try to stick to straight roads, okay? So if I had to make a loop, then I'd probably go, um, you know, up here, come down here all the way, and then I'll probably go down, okay? And then to be safe, I'll follow a route like this and come back. Okay, that's quite a safe route for me. It's not very populated. This is also quite safe, but, you know, at the end of the day, the further you drive, the, far, the faster you level up your driving skill. And as you level up your driving skill, your vehicle will become faster, which means you're driving further, which means you're leveling up your skill much faster. Okay, so it's going to feel like a grind in the beginning because you're stalling all the time and you're feeling very slow. But if you carry on with that, or if you start with advanced driving or advanced motorcycling, it is a heck of a lot of fun and very, very exciting, okay? There is a massive, massive, massive difference between no driving skill and advanced driving, okay? So let's look at the cruiser. So the dirt bike reached the top speed of 41 kilometers per hour. The cruiser is exactly the same, okay? Only difference between the cruiser is that it's got inventory space okay it's got a five by five inventory space which is basically exactly the same as the backpack that you can craft the best backpack that you can craft also has a five by five that one the improvised backpack also has a five by five okay but you can put three of these into the cruiser's inventory to get the maximum amount of space but i will still do a guide on that how to maximize each vehicle space by putting different size backpacks in, into it, whether it's craftable backpacks or backpacks that you find. And of course, with vehicles, you know, we're going to see how we can get the most amount of space into the vehicles by adding chests in there and putting, you know, different ways to get the maximum amount of loot. I will still do that in a future video. Okay, but here we go with the cruiser. Sounds extremely cool, looks extremely cool, and the top speed is 42 kilometers per hour. Okay, so not really much faster than the dirt bike, but definitely more powerful. Okay, the, the cruiser came out with new mechanics, and it's definitely a much bigger pleasure for me to drive this bike than the dirt bike. The dirt bike's a lot more exciting but it does struggle more up hills and stuff like that than the cruiser, okay? So if you want to drive over mountains, 
the cruiser is actually a better option, which is which isn't very realistic. But I hope they update the the dirt bike mechanics, okay, so that we can have a lot more fun at the motocross track and not fall off the bike. You know, every time we use the um the track, we, you know, where the track goes up. I think you call it a burr or whatever the case may be. Um, on the motocross track, when you go around a corner very fast, you can lean past 45 degrees, and that's where you normally fall off, where it's quite difficult to fall off with this bike. Okay, so both bikes, like I say, the only difference is the dirt bike hasn't got any inventory space. The Hell Rider variant of it does have a little bit of inventory space, but not a lot, okay? So... Both of those just leveled up our motorcycling skill, okay? Did nothing to our driving skill. And if we keep to the system of four wheels, then the, the quad, okay, is going to basically count as driving because it's got four wheels. You can't kickstart this one, guys, okay? So you need battery. And of course, again, 40 kilometers per hour, just like the other one, but the quad does stall a lot less. And um, with my testing, the quad is very good at not stalling, even with no driving skill, okay? And of course, great thing about the quad is it's got quite a lot of inventory space, okay? But you are in the open. So that leveled up our driving skill, okay? We were on 39 XP, so that leveled up our driving skill because it's got four wheels. So that's 40 kilometers per hour with no skill. And th that's how you level up driving, guys, just by driving, okay? Whether you're driving a motorcycle or a vehicle, you just level it up by driving, okay? Now, here comes the big difference. Even with no driving skill, with the vehicle, you can drive 62 kilometers per hour, okay? And the... You, yes, you are still going to stall and break your gearbox, but you can get somewhere a lot quicker if you're sticking to the road. And as you level up your driving skill, you can start drifting around corners, which is a heck of a lot of fun, okay? That's definitely a big fun factor when it comes to these, these vehicles, okay? So again, 62 kilometers per hour. Okay, so as we can see, everything dro drove about the same speed at no skill, except when we got to the vehicles. The vehicles is 62, and of course, the pickup truck has got a ton of inventory space, which is a major, major plus, and you can see it five, six, seven. I think you can see it like two in the front, three in the back, and then two, two here. I've already loaded a ton of people in this vehicle, guys, but you can, they, you, your entire clan, okay, can sit in this thing. Then we're getting to the SUV, which should be 62 kilometers per hour as well. And the police vehicle is the only one that you don't use the horn, okay? Okay, we cl climbed into the wrong seat. And of course, you can see it more in the pickup truck than you can in the SUV. The SUV, you can only seat five people, in the, in the pickup truck, you can probably seat seven people, but I'm sure you guys will correct me in the comments. Okay, as we can see, stalling is a major, major problem. And again, 62 kilometers per hour, exactly the same, but this time when you press your horn, you use the siren. Okay. And again, you can still drift, have a lot of fun. So the SUV and the pickup truck are by far the best vehicles speed-wise to have from the beginning of the game, okay? Both of them have roughly exactly the same amount of inventory space. Okay, roughly the same amount of inventory space. Um, you can see there's quite a lot of space left here, you know, if you're looking at the width. And then, of course, the only difference is with this vehicle, you can have more people in the vehicle, okay? More people shooting. The guy on the back can shoot his gun. The, the, these two people on the side of the doors can shoot their gun. This guy can shoot his gun, and the driver can shoot his pistol, okay?
okay? And then we come into the tractor. The biggest thing about the tractor, guys, look at the space here. Look at how wide this is, okay? So this looks about like two and a half blocks. Now, if we go here, look at the tractor, okay? This is the line. Look there, okay? So the big thing about the tractor is that it can hold a lot more stuff. Okay, so the big thing about the tractor is the inventory space. Then you can seat one guy inside and one guy can get, get in the back as well. Okay, one guy can drive like this. Maybe even two guys can drive like this. I haven't had two guys on the back here. According to me, just one. Okay, and when we drive the tractor, makes a heck of a lot of noise. And it stops speed. It's 46 kilometers per hour. And it's got a it's got a horn like a vehicle. Okay, so not as fast as a vehicle, but this vehicle can can handle a heck of a lot more loot. But it is very, very noisy. And people aren't gonna struggle to kill you. Okay? People are not going to struggle to kill you. They can shoot you right through here. They can shoot you through the front. They can shoot you through the back. And if you've got your friend here on the back, that, that this guy's basically dead. Okay? And basically, that's it, guys. The Now, we are going to look at advanced driving. But just to give you my summary, um, if you want to have the max amount of fun in game and you're not worried about a kill box you're not worried about traps you're not worried about the stealth skill because that's the that's the skills that you have to decide on when you make your character so if you don't want to do a kill box and you don't want to raid people and you don't want to do you know you're not really interested in demolition or you've got a clan and one of your clan members is a thievery pro and the other clan member is a demolition pro and the other clan member is like a sniper with advanced stealth, okay? Then you can take advanced driving and the other clan member can take advanced motorcycling, okay? So maybe you guys can, the, you with the advanced driving and the other guy with the advanced motorcycling, when a cargo drop happens, then with a the vehicle, you are going to be forced to drive on the road a lot or over open fields so that you don't crash into rocks all the time. And then if your motorcycle person in the clan that's got advanced motorcycling is good enough because the motorcycle is extremely fast at advanced motorcycling, then you guys can check who can get to the cargo drop first, okay? The guy driving the motorcycle at a certain speed at advanced motorcycling or you with a with vehicle, Okay. And then you can decide, okay, guys, we're rather going to send the bike and, and you know, send the vehicle as backup because seven of us can get into the pickup truck and then two guys can be on the bike. Okay, so that's about nine guys that rock up um, at the cargo drop. Okay, if you're on an official server, unfortunately not on my server. On my server, you, the max pop size is going to be a clan size of six on my main server, Survival Evolved. So you guys can be two on the bike and four in the vehicle. Okay. But basically, yes, if you've got a large clan, then you guys can split your responsibilities, that you've got an advanced driving driver, an advanced guy with motorcycling. And then if you're a solo player, if you, if you want to have fun, then driving, advanced driving is a heck of a lot of fun if you want to drift around, okay, and get to cargo drops really, really, really quickly. Because if a cargo drop lands and there's a clear way with the road to get there, like you don't really have to go through the forest, then you will get there first. Like, let's say a wipe day. If a cargo drop lands, anyone that's as far as as far away as you from the cargo drop, if you start driving, then you're going to get there first. Of course, the guy that's closest to the cargo drop is, of course, maybe going to get there before you, like if the cargo drop lands right on top of his head, okay, he's going to get there before you. But uh, the driving is definitely the you're, you're the most protected, okay? Because it's it, it drives the fastest, so it's very difficult to hit you. And then, of course, um, it can take a a lot of loot, okay? So you must tell yourself: Do I want to drift everywhere and drive faster than everyone else? You know, and have a bunch of inventory space that I never struggle. 
but again, it's very difficult to hide your vehicle. It's a little bit easier to hide a bike in a bush. It's not that easy to hide a vehicle in a bush. And of course, it can be stolen. You have to take that into consideration. And then, or do I just want to go crazy with a bike, you know, and ramp all day? Because with advanced motorcycling, you're going to be in the air more than you're on the ground. And you're going to need a ton of vehicle repair kits if you plan to you know, go crazy in the forest because you are going to hit rocks and trees and stumps and there's a heck of a lot of stuff, okay, in the forest if you want to have fun there. But that's completely your choice. So let's go. If you guys want to, you can go back and just write down all the speeds, okay, of the different vehicles. Now let's go look at advanced. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And this time we have got advanced driving, and medium motorcycling, okay? Now, I'm not gonna make another character with advanced motorcycling because there are basically just two vehicles with two wheels. And I can tell you now, I love motorcycling. I absolutely love it. Everyone knows I love the cruiser. So with advanced motorcycling, you can drive 105 kilometers per hour, which is extremely fast especially if you play with in first person it might not look that fast in third person but it looks very fast in first person and if you're ramping through the forest you will have a great time you might blow it up by hitting things constantly but it is absolutely awesome okay um the cruiser feels really good with uh, driving at 105 kilometers per hour but the dirt bike feels a lot more exciting with the sound that it makes okay again it's not better than the cruiser even off-road but it does feel more exciting okay so let's get on to the cruiser quickly so this is medium motorcycling all i want you guys to know is that with advanced motorcycling you can reach a top speed of 105 kilometers per hour Okay, so with medium motorcycling, you can drive 82 kilometers per hour, okay? That might not feel fast like this, but as soon as you go into first person, it feels a lot faster, okay? And a lot better. So, I, get, starting with medium motorcycling, going to advanced motorcycling will just be an absolute pleasure for me, okay? And then you guys will hear what I, what I mean by, by the dirt bike. Again, the same speed, but the dirt bike feels a lot more agile. But again, you're sacrificing, you're sacrificing the inventory space, guys. You're definitely sacrificing the inventory space. And let's just quickly see if it affects the, if it has any noticeable effect on the mountain bike. Not really, guys. But again, in first person, it feels quite good. Okay? If you can't find a vehicle, this is really, really a good option. And there will be enough vehicles on Survival Evolved after the wipe for all of you, or most of you, to be able to find a vehicle. And even if people quit the server or rage quit or something, they will just release vehicles for you because on Survival Evolved, there will be a rule of only one vehicle per person. Okay, and now we go and look at the vehicles, which I can tell you now already is 155 kilometers per hour because of advanced driving. Again, no stalling. You can see we almost didn't use any battery life. Okay, so if you start with advanced driving and you find a car with very little battery, okay, it won't really affect you. And as you guys can see, the drifting is a heck of a lot of fun, okay? So that's one advantage. After the 0.7 wipe, if you start with advanced driving and you find a vehicle, you're not going to need a battery because you will be able to just, you know, start the car and go. Doesn't matter how little the battery life is because of your advanced driving skill. Okay, and of course, in first person, it feels a lot faster as well. And there you guys can see 154 kilometers per hour. Okay. 
roughly 155 kilometers per hour. Like I say, the drifting is a lot of fun. And that's the same with the other, with the SUV as well, yes? It's the same with the other SUV. But like I say, makes a major difference getting to cargo drops, catching people that you want to kill, or getting away from people that wants to kill you, okay? Major, major, major difference. Okay, so th this one is the same speed. The only difference is the track. So the tractor's top speed, guys, was 45. And his top speed is still around 45. Okay, so it doesn't really affect the tractor's top speed. But again, the tractor is more for... You know, collecting a bunch of loot and stuff like that. And then again, the quad counts as driving. So the quad stop speed was around 42 kilometers per hour. Now it's around 100. Okay, so it's it's about six. It's about six um, kilometers per hour slower than a bike with advanced driving. Okay, with advanced motorcycling, just it's just a little bit slower. Than a motorcycle, because like I told you guys. A motorcycle, okay, can reach a top speed of 105 kilometers per hour, and it's extremely exciting. If you want to see how exciting it is, just go watch um, my last stream where I did a fishing event, okay, and just skip through the video. At some stage, you will see me driving with a, um, with a dirt bike with advanced motorcycling, and you'll see exactly how exciting it is. Now, I know some of you are going to mention this in the comments. Matthias, you didn't mention the the boats, okay? So let's cover that. Okay, hey guys, so we've got two kinds of boats in the game at the moment, okay? A normal boat and then like a rubber duck, okay? Here in South Africa, we call them a rubber duck. And at the end of the day, you can craft a paddle board, okay? To paddle across the water, you can craft uh, a raft, which is really cool, okay? That you can... Um, with a sail that you can get across the water with that also has inventory space and even the paddle board has got a little bit of inventory space okay but basically when you drive a boat okay so let's just see what our what our skills are here 682 12600 okay i'm just going to remember the 12600 682 12600 okay so the first way you can drive a boat is by looking at the oars, okay, pressing drive, and now you can drive, you can paddle the boat, okay? You can use the paddles. You don't have to use the engine, okay? And then again, you can use the mouse scroll wheel, okay? You paddle a little bit harder. But again, you're going to run out of stamina, guys. You are going to run out of stamina, okay? Okay, so that's the one way. You can even paddle the other way. Okay, if you want to. And then, if you want to drive the boat, you have to look at the engine until it says drive. Please don't drink the water by mistake. Okay, hold in the button, that's drink, no thank you. Hold in the button, that's drive. And you can anchor it and unanchor it. Okay, so we're going to unanchor it quickly. And let's just check this. Let's just um, check this quickly. So now it's unanchored. Our previous top speed was 10 kilometers per hour. And even with our mouse scroll wheel, it's still 10 kilometers per hour. Okay. 
whether it's anchored or unanchored, doesn't really matter. Okay. So now we say drive on the engine. Okay. And now we are going to try and start the boat. And as you guys can see, the boat drives a lot faster now. Okay. 45 kilometers per hour. But like I say, if you don't have fuel, guys, or you don't want to make a noise, you can paddle it. Okay. And it it is not the it's not the fastest thing to handle in the game. Okay, so let's go look quickly. Nothing there, nothing there. Okay. So doesn't really affect your driving skill it's basically like the bicycles okay and again with a rubber duck you can pedal it a lot faster okay five kilometers faster and it turns quite quickly it handles a lot better even with just the pedals okay and then of course you can go look at this unanchor it again okay and then you can drive it with the engine and this is definitely the best boat in the game so the other one was 45 kilometers per hour look how fast this thing picks up speed guys from zero very very fast and then when you maneuver it it maneuvers extremely quickly so it's going to be very difficult for someone to shoot you from the shore when you when you've got this thing okay really really nice and a little bit faster let's drive it a little bit to see if this one influences the skill okay and that's a handbrake turn that i did there again holding in my space bar Okay. And like I say, extremely, extremely fast. Extremely fast, guys. Very easy to handle. Okay. And then if we look at this, it's got average size, storage size, and this has got the same amount of storage size. And again, didn't level up our driving, didn't level up our motorcycling. Okay. And of course, nothing else here really, really leveled up. Zero, zero, of course, it's not going to count towards that. Maybe it influences your running a bit, okay? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. But in any case, they didn't really level up anything here. And that's just the stuff that I spawned in. So it doesn't really, didn't really do anything, okay? And then I just want to check something quickly. Someone did ask me, I know a vehicle repair kit repairs uh, repairs all the vehicles, guys. But somebody did for ask me about the boat. Okay. So I'm just going to spawn in a grenade quickly. Let's make it five grenades. Let's damage these a little bit. Add it with quick slot, put the hand on, G, or three. Now we go shift G. Okay. And then we go shift G. Okay, so now both of them should be damaged. Yeah, yeah, that one's damaged by 30%. That one's damaged by 20%, okay? So this one is a little bit tougher than that one, guys. So now what we can do is just spawn in a toolbox. Let's test the toolbox first. Toolbox won't help. We can't repair that one with a toolbox. 
and we can repair this one with a toolbox, okay? So a toolbox is how you repair a boat. You must just make sure you've got it. You've got at least basic engineering. Okay, so let's just um, let's get rid of the toolbox here quickly. Toolbox clearly clearly worked. Now let's take the repair kit. Car repair kit, okay. Now we've got the car repair kit. This one's repaired. Okay, guys. So it's clearly a toolbox to repair a boat, and it's a vehicle repair kit to repair a vehicle. Okay. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor and smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed yet, do yourself a favor and subscribe to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about SCUM. See you guys tomorrow, where we are going to be covering throwing and stealth at the same time. Throwing is going to be very, very easy. We're going to go a little bit in depth with stealth, okay? A lot of people like stealth because the megs don't detect you there that easily and of course you make a lot less sound in a pvp situation but it is quite difficult to level it up so we're going to talk about that tomorrow have a great day guys cheers